Welcome to Right Now News, where we deliver the right news the right way. I'm Ambassador Daria Credock. And I'm Ray Tyson. Welcome back, Spartans. And happy new school year. Seniors, we are on the march to graduation. With the heat of the summer kicking up, it has been so cool to see so many new faces. Starting off with orientation week, each grade level got one-on-one -on -one time to meet their teachers, staff, and administration. The 12th grade class is on the march to graduation, preparing those college essays, applications, and we cannot forget the iconic senior thesis. The first day of school was a little jam-packed, but who can notice with this awesome transition music in the halls? It was like one big party. We are so excited for the 2023-2024 academic school year, and we hope you are too. Now that you have been here, let's review some Richard Wright School's expectations. Here's the story. Students are expected to arrive to school each day by 8 a.m. sharp. By 8.20, no entry. Doors open at 7.45 for those early birds. Full uniform is required to enter the building. For gentlemen, this includes the Richard Wright sweater or blazer, the Richard Wright button-up top, the Richard Wright monogram school tie, black slacks or black khakis with a belt, and predominantly black shoes. Full uniform for the young ladies include the following. The Richard Wright sweater, the Richard Wright button-up top, black slacks or black khakis with a belt, a black school skirt that is knee-length, and predominantly black shoes. Ladies, please remember to button up your uniform shirts completely. Students, please remember to bring your binders each and every day. They count as a grade. Also, get involved with school sports and clubs. A club fair will be coming soon. I'm Ambassador Lana Gordon. And I'm Ambassador Kyra Carmichael. Reporting now for Right Now News. Now let's do our very best to maintain these expectations. We are students and future leaders after all. Coming up next, we have legacies that span over five decades. The legacy of the March on Washington has been a continuation over several decades. This past Saturday was the 60th continuation. Let's check it out. Almost two weeks ago, thousands of people gathered at the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the historic March on Washington. The theme for this event was not a commemoration, a continuation, meaning that African Americans are still protesting and fighting for justice and equality six decades after Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave his iconic I Have a Dream speech in 1963. I have a dream. One day, this nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Our fight for civil rights and social justice continues. Dozens of speakers address some of the same concerns from the first march on Washington, such as strengthening voting rights, improving public education, and ensuring fair wages. Let us continue what our elders have started. They have laid out the groundwork, and it is time for us to continue to carry out the vision. 
Let's model our elders to make an impact in our community and our nation. 2023 marks 50 years in hip hop. WNN will be schooling you in the game. We'll be bringing all types of hip hop history, legacy, and more. I said a hip hop, the hip it, the hip it, the hip hip hop. You don't stop the rocket to the bang bang boogie. Say up, jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie to be. From that faithful basement back on Cedric Avenue, hip hop as we knew it was born. <sighs> The 70s marked the beginning of a revolution in music and in culture. Jump on it, jump on it, jump on it. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. By the 1980s, hip hop had arrived. From superstar pioneers to the young upstars blazing their own trail. The mainstream had never heard voices like this before. This was our fairy tale, our folk music, our poetry, our moment. And as the industry continued to grow throughout the 90s, a new era of expression shook the scene on both coasts. I got five on it. East side, west side. The decade took hip hop in bold new directions, forging some of the most influential rappers of all time. I had to let you know that I got a crush on you. What's the boys in the hood sell anything to try? At the start of the new millennium, a renaissance of Southern artists dominated the airwaves. From Atlanta to Miami to Texas, they all had something to say with a unique flavor that you can only find in the Dirty South. Let's go and raise off in the A. Hold on, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished? From records sold out of the trunk to now downloading tracks at home, new technology kept hip hop on the cutting edge of pop culture. In an era when internet rappers became bona fide global superstars overnight, it was time to dream big. If it's up, then it's up, then it's up, then it's stuck, huh? Game changers, renegades, icons. As female voices rise, a new era of empowerment echoes through music, fashion, entertainment, and culture. From what's now to what's next, the future of hip hop is in good hands. This unstoppable genre has come a long way in the last half century. The world is watching and listening to see what lies ahead. Join us as we celebrate 50 years of the groundbreaking genre that has turned the world on its head. We do, and guess what? America, we love you. Because it rocks in a row with so much so you can rock to your 101 years old. I don't mean to rock. Oh, with the baby on it. Crab oh, baby oh, on um, Good News. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you yeah. see the music video? Yes. yes. I loved I like, it. Um, the freestyle she did in like her older song, mm -hmm. I like Rilla, mm -hmm. and then I like Lil Baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that's all for this edition of Right Now News. I'm Ambassador Daria Craddock. And I'm Ambassador Ray Tyson. Signing off, Right Now News. Bye! Bye.